This is Red Bull Kluge. Red Bull Kluge. This whole Kluge thing, basically it's a giant game of mousetraps. It's a domino effect of athletes trying to master their craft. It's a large machine and it's being ran by humans right now. It's a passing of energy and it just doesn't stop. 11 athletes, 12 machines, four red cameras, 45 GoPro cameras, including a crew of 75 people. I think it's gonna make for a really sort of fun project. It's certainly one of the coolest things I've been involved in. This idea has been bouncing around. We've been working on it for about two years. It started out as an idea of bringing together athletes and machines in some way. One of the most important things on this project was finding the right teams to not only build these machines, but also make sure they're going to work. I found Adam Sadowski in Sin Labs, and Sin Labs was incredibly excited about building this thing with Red Bull. The final venue we ended up using was El Toro, which is located in Irvine, California. It allowed us to have inside space within a hangar, outside space for skydiving, trophy truck, drift car, and enough room and freedom for us to do exactly what we wanted to do there. We were on site at El Toro for two and a half weeks before the shoot actually happened. We had tried all of the machines. All of the machines had worked. 90 to 100 percent of the time. Perfect. Some of the athletes had come out to the courses and ridden some of the ramps prior to. We've got quite an ambitious setup for myself. You know, I thought I'd put this 12 foot skinny and then oh, I'm going to front flip off here. But now that I'm actually here, everyone's looking a lot bigger than I thought. They should be fine, I think. This is a jump I've never done before. The landing's 40 feet tall, it's on a 60 degree angle, it's super steep. And the takeoff ramp, I've only ever used it once before when I jumped onto the roof of the Arc de Triomphe in Las Vegas. And he's just kind of driving around, looking at it, and kind of really scoping it out. He looks a little bit like spooked. I mean, it's just kind of freaking me out a bit, but I know once I jump it, it'll be easy. The plan was I was gonna actually hit this, but my legs aren't quite up to it at the moment. And then at 11 p.m., Robbie Madison called us and told us that he was, you know, a little bored with jumping over the side of a building and he wanted to bring out a, an extra kicker in order to do a backflip. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Got Robbie Madison doing backflips. It's really early for backflips. Screw breakfast when you can do that, right? <laughs> The starter's pistol will be fired, Lolo will do her run, break a tape, which will begin a section of machine there. Definitely some pressure, especially because I'm the last athlete to go. Well, besides, you know, somebody getting in a helicopter. <laughs> Just look at the camera really quick, uh, and then if I mess up at all, which I'm probably gonna do, I'm the last person in the whole shot, and so I'm gonna have all these other people mad at me. <laughs> With this, you kind of want to be like, yeah, I nailed it first try. Where were you at? As soon as we yelled action, the first shot happened. Sean landed on the target, and instantly the first element didn't work. And you could just see the entire machine just come to a screeching halt. We had a mechanical failure right off the top. The machine just just didn't do its thing. So the, the dream of it happening instantly and the entire shoot being over in 30 minutes was, was instantly realized that it was going to be a little bit longer day than we all anticipated. Go for it. Reset. Reset. My ramp's too big for me, I think. Oh man, dude, this is so nerve-wracking. Some of the things worked like they did previously, and some of them didn't. How are they not working? We have a little wind problem. Seems to be taking out the barrels. Wind, grab that, grab that quick. Just creating the perfect strain of ice. That looks good. That was spectacular, guys. We almost had that. Oh, so close. 
the ultimate arm was an essential tool for shooting Red Bull Cluj because Cluj took place over a vast area, three to four acres, and we needed to be able to make precision moves, turning around corners, keeping up with runners. We needed to be able to move fast and quick, but needed stability as well for the camera. This is a Pro 2 truck, which races short course off-road racing. I think it's about 800 horsepower, 18 inches of wheel travel, 4,300 pounds, um, just mean beast. We are coming outside of the warehouse and then into the dirt and had to track with him the whole time, which wasn't that difficult, but it was the matter of getting up to speed to where he wasn't gonna run over us. circles, hitting down some gates, and then trying not to hit Robbie at the end of it. Reese's part's the hardest part. Each time he goes around each lap, he's going to hit these gates to kind of open my runway into the ramp, so it's going to be quite a challenge. <laughs> had to come around and follow with him as he was doing his laps around the circle. He had to do three laps while we did one and we needed to land at the same time that he finished his run and started the motorcycle. We did it! It's just awesome to be around these guys and kind of make one big project uh, come together. It's just, you know, just thrilled, relief, and just happy that everyone, everything went through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>